Got another exam question walkthrough for A-level chemistry. So this is number four in the alcohols playlist. And the question deals with the comparison of oxidation conditions. Question suitable for all of the major exam boards. And I really hope you like the video. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I'd love you to do so. As always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so we'll just start by saying what the isomers are. So propan 1 ol and propan 2 ol and the oxidizing agent is acidified potassium dichromate 6. So we'll start with propan 1 ol just going to say that it's a primary alcohol and that means we're going to get different products from distillation and reflux. So all I'm going to do now is go through the two types of oxidation, starting with distillation. So all we need to say really is that distillation produces the aldehyde and in the case of propan 1 ol it's going to make propanal. And there's the equation. Remember we were told to use the O in square bracket symbol for the oxidizing agent and I'm showing clearly the structure of the organic product there. And for the case of reflux we're going to make a carboxylic acid so therefore propan 1 ol will make propanoic acid and there's the equation there. Two oxidations are taking place, so we need two moles of oxidizing agent, but we only make one mole of H2O, and that's made when the aldehyde's formed. Moving on to the other isomer, so propan 2 ol we're just going to say is a secondary alcohol. Doesn't matter whether you use reflux or distillation, they're both going to make the same ketone product, which is going to be called propanone. And all we need to do is finish off with the equation, and then that's it. So there's just one oxidation taking place here, so we'll just need one mole of the oxidizing agent. There's the structure of my ketone, and we also get molar water formed. 